We are going to solve exercise 3. The amount of residual water that a factory produces when using X unit of a material M1 and Y unit of another material M2 is Q depending on X and Y that is written in blue. So the first question we have to answer is Is Q convex or concave in R2? But first, we have to bear in mind if R2 is a convex set. We are going to check it graphically. If R2 is the the area in yellow, we can check that any point contained in R2 can be linked to another one and also the point in the line will that links the two point it's also inside R2 so yes R2 is a convex set now to to know if Q is convex or concave, we'll use algorithm 1. What we have to do is form the Hessian matrix at any point. To do it, first, we have to calculate the first order partial derivatives. The first partial derivative of Q depending on X is 3 multiplied by 2x minus 5 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to make it s s more simpler it is 24 for x raised to the power of 2 minus 120x plus 150 then the first partial of or the derivative of y is 2 multiplied by y minus 1 uh, this, this is 2y minus 2 now we have to do the second order derivatives that are calculated from the first partial order derivative. So the first one will use the first this one the, the first partial derivative of x and we derivate again taking the variable x. So this is 48x minus 120. The second order partial derivative of y, depending on y, is 2. And also we also need the second partial derivative of x, depending on y. That is, we take this, the first, this first partial derivative and, deri and derivate taking as a variable y. As we can see here there is no y so its derivative is zero. This is equal la as q y x. That is the same is if we derivate this first partial derivi der derivative taking as a variable x as as there is any x it's zero now taking into account the values of the second order partial deriva derivatives we form the Hessian matrix here we have the Hessian matrix at any point now we are going to calculate its sign 
For that, we are going to use the eigenvalues method. So, we are going to write here the first eigenvalue and the second one. We have that the first eigenvalue can be greater greater equal or less than zero and the second one is greater than zero so the Hessian matrix at any point is indefinite so Q is not concave nor convex in R2 now we are going to solve question B Calculate at set A in R2 such that Q is convex in A. According to algorithm 1, in order to be convex, the Hessian matrix must be positive semi-definite or positive definite. So, in our case, we will have problem with the first eigenvalue that it was 48 minus 1 half so we have to look for an interval where this eigenvalue is greater or equal than 0 to do that we equal the first eigenvalue to zero and we s work out x that is equal 5 divided by 2 to to find the this interval we are going to use an axis and we are going to price here 5 divided by 2 so if we take a value from here and from here for example 0 and here for example 10 we can check that here the function have negative sign and here has positive sign so the interval would be from 5 divided by 2 till infinity So Q is convex in A that that is X and Y depend belonging to R two such that x is greater or equal than 5 divided by 2 we, we write here equal because it can be either positive semi-definite or positive definite so we cannot forget about checking if this set A is convex or not so we are going to check it graphically so as we can see the set is convex and with that the question B will be answered now we
we are going to solve part C. Which amount of materials must be used in order to minimize the residual water production? Is that combination of amounts a global minimum of Q in A? So we are going to follow algorithm 2. And as it says first, we have to calculate the critical point. Uh, to do that, we have to equal zero the first partial der derivative. Now we work out x and y. x is equal 5 divided by 2 and y is equal 1. So the only critical point is 5 divided by 2, 1. Now we have to form the Hessian matrix at the critical point. That is 0, 0, 0, 2. As we can see, the Hessian matrix is positive semi-definite. So we cannot say this is a local optimum or not. Moreover, we only we only know that it is not a local maximum. Regarding if the critical point is a global minimum or not, the algorithm two says that if Q is convex on A and the critical point belongs to A, then the critical point is a global minimum of key Q in A. So one of the answers would be the amount of material that should be used would be 5 divided by 2 of X and 1 of Y. With this amount we, mini we will minimize the residual water production. Now we are going to calculate what would be this water, this residual water production. T for that, we have just to replace the critical point in the production function in Q. So Q. So Q of 5 divided by 2, 1 is equal 25 units. This exercise was done by Maria Jose López Martínez.